Hello everyone, welcome back again. As you see in this tutorial, we are going to create a simple, minimal Bitcoin animation inside of After Effects. If it is the first time you see my tutorial, please make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. In addition, if you want to customize, if you want to use this logo animation, I will drop the project files in the description so that you can download and use for your projects. I don't want to waste your time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's have some fun. Let's get started. Alright, here we are in After Effects, perfect. Let's start by importing our image here. Okay, let's go uh, our folder. This is Bitcoin we want to use as a logo. All right, brilliant. First of all, we need to create some shapes. Uh, select ellipse and we should have a nice color. Click OK. We don't want to need stroke right now. OK. Now make sure you open proportional grid so that we can locate the logo in a proper location. So I create a circle here. Let's zoom in. As you see, it is in the center. Brilliant. Let's name it circle one. Circle zero one. Okay, good. Now open scale parameter, pressing S and create a keyframe. Let's move a little bit on the timeline and make it zero first keyframe. Okay. And then open this stroke parameter, ellipse one stroke, and here stroke width. Create a keyframe, press U on the keyboard so that we can see keyframes. Okay, good. Now the stroke width is 14. Let's go in the middle of keyframes, make it zero and here the same keyframe. Copy and paste these keyframes. Right click and make easy is. Okay, brilliant. Let's go graph editor. Let's go graph editor and click this, click this icon. I think we don't want to animate the stroke width. So just select scale parameter and drag this handle here. So we have this nice reveal of circle. Okay, again, select first keyframe and drag it at the beginning of timeline. Okay, good. Now exit the graph editor and we want to have a stroke animation as well. So control D, this circle, press U on the keyboard. And for this circle, we don't want to have a fill but we just want to have a stroke. Click OK. OK, good. And for this uh, circle, we don't want to use stroke. So delete this circle, this stroke size. OK, good. Now for this circle, uh, let's increase the scale. OK, good. And let's decrease the stroke width like 10. Okay, we have this nice animation as you see. I think we have a mistake here. Let's open this stroke width. This is zero here. So make sure this stroke width should start with zero. This one with 10. And this keyframe should be same keyframe with this one. Copy and paste it. So we have nice a nice circle like this. All right, excellent. Now we want to have second circle so what i am going to do Control shift z pre-compose this shapes circle one okay brilliant put this one here by holding shift okay and then Control d for second short circle and put this one here so we have two circle on our scene on our composition if you want, you can offset the second circle. So we have a random animation. We can see them in a separate time. Or all right, good, brilliant. Now we want to collide them at the middle of composition. So select all of them, press P on the keyboard, create keyframes. Let's go a little bit on the timeline, like uh, not too much. I think this uh, duration is enough and put this one a little bit here and this one as well just drag a little bit so we will have an anticipation animation okay good now go a little bit on the timeline again and put this one locate it at the center of composition and the second circle should be in the same location as well okay 
perfect. Now we have this nice animation. Select all the keyframes, right click keyframe assistant easy is. Press N on the keyboard, let's preview the animation. I think we have a problem for keyframes. So for solving this problem, select all the keyframes, right click, go keyframe interpolation and make sure you change special interpolation as linear. If you do so, we will not have any problem with keyframes. As you see, we have a nice movement. Okay, we haven't finished yet. Now we want to arrange a little bit the curve. So select all the keyframes, go graph editor, open this parameter. Now select this keyframe, drag the circle, drag this curve as you see, because when we see press P, press B on the keyboard, we have a nice movement of smooth keyframe, let's say. Okay, then this collision should be a little bit fast. So select this keyframe, select this keyframe and make a peak at the middle of these keyframes. Let's drag it a little bit as well. Okay, let's preview the animation. Okay, brilliant. Good. Now, uh, exit the graph editor. I want to have a big circle after the collision of those shapes. So grab the circle, ellipse tool. Let's have a different color like this one. We don't want to have a stroke, a stroke size. So let's create by holding shift and alt create a circle. Okay, brilliant. Now press S on the keyboard, create a keyframe, press U on the keyboard. We can see keyframes, just keyframes and put this one here. When the collision happens, I want to increase the size of shape. So let's first should be zero. First keyframe. Okay. And this one should be and this keyframe should cover the composition. Okay, that should be enough. Let's see the animation. Okay. I think when the, co when the collision happens, it should start here. Let's select these keyframes, make easy, go graph editor. And we should have a peak at the beginning of this animation. So it will be a little bit fast. Okay, let's drag this one here. I think I need to change this curves. Go graph editor and make sure you click this easy. Okay. And select this curve. Make it. Okay. Good. Uh, and select those keyframes. Drag on the timeline. Let's see the animation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Brilliant. I like this type of animation. Okay, good. Now we want to have a burst animation. So go and grab the pen tool. We should have a stroke. Select stroke and select a different color. You can customize your color. You, cho you can choose whatever color you want. And at the middle of this composition, create by holding shift a line here. Okay, good. I think I need to increase this size. Okay, brilliant. We need to have a couple of this shape. So create, add a trim pad and then add repeater. So let's have four copies. Go transform repeater one and decrease the position of X as zero and make rotation as 90. So we have, as you see, four shapes. Okay, brilliant. Go to the trim pad. Let's make and and start animation. And first and should be zero. Go here and this one should be 100. And here create start and keyframes and drag them a little bit on the timeline. Lastly, we need to have an easy easy animation. Okay, I think it it is a little bit too fast. Drag it. Okay, good. Go graph editor we should have a similar type of animation, similar curve as you see on the screen. Okay, good. This is the burst animation when the collision happens. I think it should start here. 
yeah this is good and drag it a little bit on the timeline perfect now i want to have another shape Control d and drag it a little bit on the timeline and press r on the keyboard make the rotation 45 so we have this another burst animation okay i i think i need to decrease the offset okay that's good okay last one should be another circle which should go a little bit above the shapes and it should hit the bottom again so uh, we can use same shape here Control d for this shape put it above the shapes press u on the keyboard we don't want to have this first animation so drag this and trim this composition delete this position keyframes okay our shape is here put this one at the center of composition and go effect and controls here i can open it effect and presets type fill color fill effect and apply on the layer change the color according our wish okay good when the collision happens and when we see the big circle we should uh, animate this circle press p on the keyboard cre create keyframe and let's move a little bit on the timeline put this one here okay let's see good okay good again we sh should have a opacity animation as well by holding shift press t on the keyboard create opacity keyframe drag it a little bit on the timeline and make it zero so we have so we have this nice ball animation as well okay select all the keyframes make easy and then when it reaches this location create another position keyframe and then it should hit the button here again so we have this nice movement for the circle uh, select this uh, position keyframes go graph editor and select this second keyframe make this animation make this curve change the curve so this shape will wait a little bit at the upper location as you see brilliant i like it okay when it hits here i want to have a, a logo animation so i think it is this one yeah this one control d and put above the first first above the circle press u on the keyboard and let's go here decrease the scale as you see i i should have a different color for it so let's grab this nice orange color okay so when the pink shape pink circle hit the bottom we should have this trim this shape and drag this keyframe let's put a little bit yeah that's brilliant okay awesome now we should use our logo choose bitcoin logo and drag on the timeline let's trim this logo here and we should animate it scale it a little bit okay good press p on the keyboard create position keyframe okay good put this one a little bit on the timeline and drag this bitcoin at the bottom of orange circle brilliant select and make easy is go graph editor and have this curve because it should start in a fast way and we should see the slow duration a little bit a little bit more okay good now control d this shape put above the bitcoin and we should mask the bitcoin with the shape select this pick whip and parent with first shape at the layer so we have this nice reveal log animation i think we can increase the bitcoin size press s on the keyboard and increase increase the size okay really amazing now as you see we don't have any background color so right click new create a solid let's name it bg and select color like greenish color click ok click ok and put under the all layers i think i didn't like the color so 
apply fill color on it and have a color which shows a contrast between shapes let's select this color i think i need to go circle and select a different like white color for the stroke animation yeah that's brilliant as you see okay perfect if you don't like circle animations here the anticipation select all the compositions go graph editor here and first of all let's press you on the keyboard select keyframes go graph editor and put this let's see all of the size of composition and put this and change the curve let's see okay that's good brilliant we did really good job as you see a simple minimal logo animation inside of after effects thank you guys for watching this tutorial i hope you find it very useful if you like this video please hit the like button and if you want to see more tutorials using adobe after effects please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the notification bell so that you can notified with the upcoming tutorials until next tutorial take care